Hello, I welcome all of you to session 3 presentation on design of slab base. Earlier we had two sessions with respect to design of slab base and if you just try to recollect, so we had talked about some important introductory concepts connected with slab base. We had discussed numerical problem on slab base, okay, simple slab base and then we had just talked about the uh, bolted gazette, gazetted uh, connection. So, let us try to go ahead with some problems with respect to uh, welded connections of uh, gazetted base. So, if we just try to look at things that we have talked about as I did mention, okay, introduction to column base, okay, then uh, types of column base, slab base and gazetted base, numerical examples, okay. And now we are just uh, into another example here, but this is about, okay, welded gazetted base. Now, let us try to go through the problem that we have here, correct. So, that is we are trying to have a column ISHP 350 carrying a factored axial force of 1700 kilonewtons and we are trying to design a suitable welded uh, gazette, uh, gazette base. It rests on M20 grade concrete. Now, in this particular case generally we can think of two possible arrangements okay, of the gazette plates. So, in this particular problem we are trying to consider the gazelle plate to be placed parallel to the web, okay, placed parallel to the web, okay. So, this is what the problem states. Now, as, as we mentioned, so the uh, factored load is 1700 uh, kilonewtons. So, properties of uh, steel, okay, and the partial set factors in this particular case, there is uh, uh, 410 grade, the ultimate uh, strength and the yield strength okay, that is 410 and 250 mega Pascal. Then the partial set factors, that is gamma M0 and gamma MW, that is we are trying to talk about welded connection here, that is why we have gamma MW and we are assuming it as shop weld. So, the values are 1.10 and 1.25, they are picked up from table 5 of IS 800, okay, 2007, okay. Now, coming to the uh, bearing strength of concrete, Okay, so, it is M20 grade is what has been given here okay, as per IS 456 class 34.4, okay, the uh, maximum bearing strength is 0 0.45 CK. So, we are just trying to take it as 9 mega Pascal. So, we do not want the stress on concrete okay, to exceed 9 mega Pascals in this particular case. Now, properties of uh, the, the section ISHB 350, you can look at the steel tables and then obtain the depth the width of uh, uh, the, the breadth of flange, thickness of flange and thickness of web, okay, can be arrived at, okay. Now, the next thing is uh, what should be the thickness of the gazette plate, what should be the thickness of the gazette plate. So, the same uh, criteria that we had talked about in bolted connection, correct. So, the thickness of the flange is 11.6 millimeters, okay. So, the thickness of the gazette plate should be more than that. So, we are trying to assume that as 12 mm, we are trying to assume the thickness of the uh, I mean, uh, gazette plate to be 12 mm in this particular case, right, because of the criteria. Now, the next thing that we are trying to talk about is, okay, what should be the width of the buzz, uh, plate that we are trying to have here, width of the plate, correct. Now, when you just try to talk about one dimension of the uh, base plate, one dimension of the base plate. So, what we try to say is that will be equal to, okay, the width of the flange 250 and we have assumed, okay, the thickness okay of the uh, plate as 12 mm. So, we are just trying to place one on either side okay of the section. So, we are just trying to say 2 into 12 okay that comes to be 274 millimeters, 274 millimeters. However, okay we are just trying to place it uh, keep a bit slightly larger okay so that okay my uh, I mean uh, 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 so that I can just try to uh, reduce okay, the length of the gazette plate so that I can just try to, uh, 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 I mean, see that the compression, uh, uh, I mean, the, the, the uh, uh, yeah, buckling due to compression, okay, will be minimized from the gazette plate. So, I am just trying to deliberately take a slightly larger value here, okay, so that, okay, I am unnecessarily trying to see that my length of the gazette plate does not become too slender. 
So I'm just trying to take it as 400 millimeters to be the width of the plate. So obviously it should be more than this, okay? And I'm just trying to have an arrangement like this. So if you just try to notice here how I have arrived at that number. So I did tell you that it is 250, okay? Plus this thickness, okay, 12 mm, and this thickness 12 mm. So look at this. So that is the IS HB 350 column. I mean, sorry, uh, column that is that you are trying to see in plan. I'm just trying to put a gazette plate, okay, 12 mm thick, okay, parallel to the web, and, and one more thing, parallel to the web. So this is how I have placed, okay, the two uh, gazette plates. You are trying to see this in plan. This is in plan, correct? So minimum width is from here to here. That would be 274. I'm slightly exceeding that, okay? So I'm just trying to say, let it be 400, okay? And my projection here, okay, is 75, is what I'm just trying to have here. So normally, maximum 75 mm projection should be good enough. So this is what I've just tried to do that, okay. And this is nothing but 350, okay, the, the uh, I, mean, uh, uh, I mean, depth of the column is what we are trying to have here. But however, okay, I've not arrived at the length of the uh, plate. I've not still arrived at the length of the plate. What I've done is only I've just arrived at the width of the plate, okay, based on this information. Okay, based on this information. Okay, now I'm just trying to uh, go ahead with uh, the length. Okay, what would be the length of the plate that we need to have here? So right now, factored load, 1700. We have arrived at that width, okay, with this information, correct? So let's try to first understand what should be the area required. What should be the area required? It's something but the factored load by the bearing pressure. The bearing pressure I've assumed it as nine megapascals. So this is the area that we should have here in this particular case, correct? Now, if I just try to divide this area by the width of the plate, correct? So divide this area, right? By the width of the plate, that is 400, okay? We get this length as 472.22 mm. That's the required length that we should have for the plate. I'm just trying to slightly round it off to a slightly larger value. And with this, okay, we have arrived at the size of the base plate that is 500 mm uh, in length and 400 mm in, in, in width, okay? So that's what we have here. So now we have arrived at this particular value also, that is 500. Earlier, we had arrived at this particular number, okay? So with this, we have freezed, okay? The size of the plate, that means the length and width, but however, we have not arrived at the thickness. We'll just try to uh, uh, I mean, calculate that slightly later, okay? Now coming to the gazette plate, Okay, so how should you design your gazette plate? How should you put your gazette plate? Now, I said, we already decided this, okay, it should be 12 mm, it should be 12 mm gazette uh, uh, plate, correct? Okay, now regarding the height, I'm assuming, okay, let it be 200 mm, right? Height of the gazette plate, let it be 200 mm between the column flanges, between the column flange, correct? Height, and let that height reduce to 100 mm, okay? 100 mm at the edge is what we are trying to have here. So in my next slide, okay, you're going to see that picture, okay? So the height reduces from 200 to 100, 200 at the midpoint and then 100 height, okay, at the edges. So regarding the length, okay, so it will be having a value of 350 millimeters, okay, between the columns, okay, that will be length is 350 and then it further extends, okay, to the length of the uh, base plate which will be 500 millimeters. 500 mm, okay? So this is equal to the column depth and this is equal to the length of the plate. So we just try to look at this. So this is what I was trying to tell you, correct? So this is the plate that we are trying to see here. That is a gazette plate. Now look at this. The height of the gazette plate here is 200, okay? Right? At this point, reduces 200, okay? At the edge, okay? Right? So 200, okay? It reduces 200 height. And the length, okay? From 350, it increases to 500, okay? I hope you are trying to understand. So this is how we, we are trying to put the uh, gazette plate, okay, in this particular case, okay? That's how it has been uh, designed, correct? I make clear? So I hope you are trying to see, okay? Now, uh, coming to the buckling of compression, okay? We are trying to just uh, see how we can make some checks with respect to the buckling, okay? Buckling of these uh, gazette plates. Now, as we had talked about uh, in the previous case, that is bolted connection. Again, we are trying to make the check against buckling, okay, for uh, two edges, okay. One, okay, here, that is the first edge that we are trying to make here, that is between the two column flanges, and the next one is the outstanding leg, that is, okay, that is a slant edge. 
So, for both these uh, I mean lengths, okay, we are trying to make this buckling uh, check, okay, whether it is uh, the, the ratio, okay, slenderness ratio, okay, or this ratio of the length to thickness, okay, is it fine? It's I mean we are just trying to check. So, let us try to take the first one, okay, here. Now, we are trying to say that, okay, this is th 350, that means the length here from here to here is 350. It has a thickness of uh, 12 millimeters. Now, we just try to look from top, okay, please understand, okay, this is not connected to the column, okay, am I clear, right? It is it's, it's, uh, just present at the edge of the uh, column flanges, that is what you need to understand. So, let us try to check the ratio of these two, try to take the ratio of 350 by 12, okay, and that happens to be 29.26, 29.26 is the ratio of the length, okay, to the thickness of that. And now we are trying to again use that uh, table, table 2, okay, IS uh, uh, 800, 2007, okay, check to what uh, kind of uh, section does it belong, does it belong to plastic uh, section or does it belong to compact section or uh, semi-compact or will it become slender, okay, we do not want it to become slender, we are going to make a check of that, okay. So, let us try to look at table 2, okay, calculate epsilon, okay, because it is FY is two, 250, the value is 1. Okay, and uh, the limiting width with respect to plastic section, right, happens to be 29.30 epsilon, which is 29.30, 29.30, okay. So, please understand we can check this, this particular value, okay, to the limiting value of plastic section or limiting value of uh, compact section or limiting value of, okay, uh, semi-compact section. I mean, clear, but it should never exceed the limiting value of semi-compact section. I, I hope you need to understand that, okay. So, here this is the plastic section 29.30 epsilon or which is 29.30. So, since the computed value of 29.16 is less than 29.30, you can understand that the section provided is plastic and adequate. So, you do not need to worry the buckling, okay, of the uh, uh, gusset plate between the column sections. But however, we need to just talk about the buckling of this portion, we need to check this particular portion also, correct. So, how do I calculate the length of that to begin with, correct. So, this dimension, okay, is 100, this dimension is 75, you can calculate the hypotenuse of that, okay, that that will give you this, the, the slant length, okay, or edge, slant edge length of the gusset plate, which we call as the outstanding portion. Okay. So, to begin with, we are trying to say what is the outstanding length. I am just trying to arrive at this number. How do I get this? Okay. So, total width okay, is 500. So, 500 you deduct 350, half of that is 75. Okay. So, that is what we have got here, 75. So, first get this and already we know this as 100. So, obviously, this slant length will be equal to root of 75 square plus 100 square and that is what we are trying to do that, okay. So, this is 75 mm, we already have done that, okay. So, this is square root of 75 square plus 100 square and that slant length is 125. And thickness, we know it is 12 mm, okay. We know that plate is 60, 12 mm. Now, we take the ratio of 125 by 12. So, what is 125 by 12, okay, which is 10.41. Having got this value, again, we go to table 2, okay, and then check, okay, to what limiting value okay, will this uh, re, uh, uh, lie within, which, which particular limiting value, okay. Now, look at this from table 2, the value of epsilon, okay, is again 1 because Fy is 250, correct, and we want to uh, talk about this 10.41. So, the, the, this 10.41, okay, satisfies the limiting value of semi-compact section. So, for semi-compact section, the limiting value is 13.6 epsilon, epsilon is 1, so it is 13.6, so this value is less than this, so that means what, okay, so that uh, then this is less than this, so that means the section uh, provided, this gusset plate, okay, in the outstanding portion, okay, belongs to semi-compact section and is adequate. So, you do not need to worry about the buckling of the plate, so we have checked at two, two, two places, one is between the column flanges and then in the outstanding portion. So, in both cases, right, we are trying to say that, okay, it is not slender and, and things are fine. Now, coming to the last part that we are trying to talk about here with respect to the dimension, we are trying to talk about the thickness of the base plate. So, we have already arrived at the number that is length and breadth, but we have not talked about the thickness, okay, of this particular plate, correct. So, what should be the thickness is what we are trying to look at. 
Okay. So, we have here that is 500 and 400. Now, with this we try to calculate the pressure. Okay. We try to calculate the what, what is the pressure that we are trying to have here. So, that is 1700 is the total load that is the dimension you have this value and it is less than the bearing strength of the concrete. So, things are fine. Correct. So, whatever dimensions that we have provided okay, is good enough. Okay. If this is more than that obviously, you have to increase this okay, and then make sure that the, the pressure is less than the bearing strength of the concrete. Now, having done this the next thing is we would like to identify the critical section. Okay. Critical section where we have to calculate the bending moment okay, right, okay. and then we have to just calculate to resist that bending moment what should be the thickness. Okay, that we should provide for the base plate. So, that is what we are trying to now arrive at. Okay. So, now the critical section xx okay, lies along line joining the toe of the column flanges. So, there are two column flanges that we are trying to have here. So, you have to just draw a line or it is you can clearly say that it is just beneath okay, the two uh, gusset plates that we are trying to talk about. Okay. Just try to look at this in plan. This is again in plan. Okay. Look at the critical section where we have drawn, where we have drawn. So, this red line you are trying to see over here. So, this is the critical section that we are trying to consider and this is the line joining the, uh, 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 the, the toe of the two flanges, correct. Even it could be here. Okay. So, you can even take the critical section somewhere here, right. So, it is symmetrical. So, you either you can take the section here or here, right is what you need to understand. Now, having identified the critical section, you know the uh, uh, I mean pressure. Okay, well, that is that that the concrete is uh, offering. Okay, right. Okay, on the base plate. So the next thing is we need to calculate this distance. Okay, what is the distance? Seventy-five. It's quite simple. So the total width is four hundred. So from four hundred you deduct two fifty divided by two, and that will be seventy-five. The the cantilever projections that we have here, and we will try to use that to calculate the bending moment. Correct. So the next one that we are trying to talk about is okay. Calculate that cantilever projection. So total width of the plate minus width of the flange divided by 2 that is 75 mm is what we have here. So, with this we are trying to calculate the bending moment at that critical section. So, we are trying to calculate bending moment at the critical section W L square by 2. Please understand okay, we will be always trying to calculate this for 1 millimeter okay, 1 mm width okay, 1 mm width okay, of the plate is what we are trying to calculate. Okay. So, we just try to look at this W L square by 2 correct this cantilever length 8.50 the pressure that we calculated 75 square by 2 okay that is giving you this value of bending moment 23.906.25 the next question is okay to resist this what should be the thickness correct and for this we are trying to make use of this code that is class 8212800 okay which gives you this expression okay which will try to calculate the moment carrying capacity okay of this particular plate okay so the expression is like this okay so we can cal substitute the value of fy zd and gamma m0 correct so fy is 250 gamma m0 is 1.10 again you are trying to calculate the elastic section modulus for unit width that is bd square by 6 or 1 into t square by 6 okay we substitute everything okay these values on the right hand side this simplifies to 45.45 t square correct the next thing is we substitute this Okay, m db by that uh, bending moment that we had calculated the critical section you simplify and then you get the value of t the value of t that you got is 22.93 millimeters okay you can just try to round it off and i'm trying to say okay so let's try to have the thickness of the slab base as 24 mm so with this we have completely arrived at the uh, dimension of the uh, base plate so that means okay uh, i'm i'm trying to just make sure that okay this is larger than uh, the thickness of the flange obviously it, it is more than thickness of flange so you can finalize the thickness as 24 okay with this we have got the size of the uh, base plate that is nothing but uh, 500 length 200 width and thickness as 24 millimeters correct so that's that's the uh, i mean uh, arrangement correct so this is the column flange correct so that is the column flange, I mean co column section that we have here, okay, the flanges and the wave, correct. And this is the gusset plate that we are trying to have here, okay. The orientation of the gusset plate is parallel to the wave. So that is the uh, orientation of the two plates that are kept here, correct. And they all rest on the slab base, okay. This slab base, okay, uh, base plate is 24 mm thick, 24 mm thick, 
okay the dimension of the plate is 500 by 400 correct now the next thing is we have just to try to design the connection okay we have to design the welded connection correct so we have to design the welded connection correct now we are trying to talk about uh, uh, connection between the gazette plate okay and the flange okay and then the connection between the gazette plate and the uh, base plate okay we are trying to do two two designs here so first thing as we had done in in case of bolted connections we assume that the base of the column that is end of the column gazette plate uh, base or end of the column and the top of the base plate are perfectly machined okay so that okay so uh, 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 the load can be transferred through bearing okay if this is ensured please understand 50% of the total load okay will pass through directly by bearing and the remaining 50% of the load okay will be used for the design of welded connection correct so this is what you have to understand right so it's always wise to see that okay you just try to have this perfect bearing okay machining of uh, the ends so that uh, uh, the load can be transferred 50 percent of the load can be transferred through bearing okay now let us try to understand so what part of the load okay we have to consider for the design of weld so total load is 1700 so you just divide by 2 that will be what okay 850 so 850 kiloton load should be considered for the design of welded connection now of this 850 there are two gazette plates so half of this will go to plate 1 and half of that will go to plate 2 so each gazette plate okay will take a load of half of 850 that would be 425 so we, now we have to design the uh, uh, weld weld connection for uh, to resist a load of 425 kilonewtons so this is what we need to understand here okay now the the important thing is where are we placing the welds where are we placing the welds look at this right so the welds are placed correct at these four corners this is in plan this is in plan okay and this weld correct okay is coming out of the plane of the board okay for a height equal to the height of the gazette uh, gazette plate i make clear did you understand so we already have seen what is the height of the gazette plate is 200 mm correct near the near the uh, uh, i mean uh, 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 flanges okay and then it tapers 200 mm at the edge of the uh, base plate is what we have said okay so you need to understand that okay the weld connection okay in each gazette plate will be uh, uh, and plate with the column flanges will be along the height of the gazette that means 200 mm at the outer edge of the flange so look at this so this is the flange this is the outer edge that is the inner edge again this is the flange this is the inner edge that is the outer edge correct and now we are trying to connect the flange with the uh, uh, gazette plate so obviously this is the right place of connecting correct right plate of connecting so this point is not accessible properly correct because you got some height and you have to just try to uh, uh, been, uh, try to do this okay it's definitely not uh, uh, that clearly accessible we try to uh, i mean uh, see there these four points okay as good points for us to weld and the weld comes out of this for a length of or a height of 200 mm correct is what you need to understand okay but however we are trying to design for only one plate when i say only one plate so you got uh, i mean weld here and weld here correct so the height of the weld here is 200 the height of the weld here is 200 coming out of the board okay right now okay so for a uh, for the total height of the gazette plate so that would be total available length is 200 millimeters okay that is sorry okay 200 plus 200 that would be 400 mm so let us look at this particular uh, calculations that we have here so this is what I, I i did tell you that is okay 200 mm length okay height okay we are trying to make use of so design load we already seen this 425 kiloton okay and then total available length okay is nothing but 400 because i did tell you uh, we have 200 here and 200 here total 400 mm okay 200 mm vertically 200 mm vertically okay so that is 400 correct is what we are trying to have here okay this 200 is the height of the gazette plate that we are trying to have here now let us assume 8 millimeter diameter uh, i mean 8, 8 millimeter size weld okay in this particular case now coming to calculating the strength okay uh, of the of the weld so that means so class 10 5 7 1 1 is 800 2007 okay gives you 
the, uh, uh, the weld strength, okay, the design strength of the weld is nothing but the cross-sectional area, length into throat thickness, okay, into Fu by root 3 gamma Mw, correct, is what we are trying to have this particular expression. So, now right now, okay, we are trying to equate this as the, uh, I mean, uh, uh, load that the weld has to carry, that is 425 into power of 3. So, that is the throat thickness, okay, 0 0.7 pi times 8, that is 6.4 and this gamma W is 1.25. So, substitute all these things, okay, simplify and then try to get this value of LW, okay, the value of LW that we have got is 400.76 millimeters. So, that means weld length required is 400.76 millimeters. Okay, but now please understand that okay, the weld length available okay, is 400 less than 400.76. So, what we say is okay, it is not sufficient. Okay. So, what is the next thing that we can do? You can slightly increase the height of the gazette plate, correct? Slightly increase the height of the gazette plate. So, earlier it was 200. Now, let us try to increase it to 210. So, that means the length available for the weld is 2 times height that is 210. Now, we have got 420 millimeters. So, this 420 millimeters is more than 400.76 mm. So, that means, okay, so it is possible to uh, resist, okay, uh, the, the load of uh, 425 kN, okay, with two vertical, uh, 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 I mean, uh, welds of length 210, okay, it can easily take up that particular uh, design load of uh, 425 kN. Now, this is how you try to design the gazette plate connection with the flanges. Now, the next part would be design of uh, 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 connection, correct? So, I think uh, uh, we have slightly revised this, okay? So, this is the revised gazette plate, okay? Height, uh, uh, I mean, uh, thickness 12 mm. So, earlier it was uh, 200. Now, we just try to change it to 210, but this at the, at the tapered end, okay? It is 100. Uh, these things will not change. 350 mm is the length near the column flange and then okay, uh, it which reduces, which increases to 500 mm at the edge of the uh, edge of the base plate, correct. Now, the next part is, okay, uh, this, is the, this, is, this is the picture, okay, that we are trying to talk about, okay. And uh, in this particular case, uh, you will be trying to understand that if I just try to uh, draw the weld, okay, the weld would be placed here, okay, the weld would be placed here, okay please understand, okay. So, that is uh, 200, okay, uh, I mean one, 110 plus uh, uh, um, 100, okay, the total length is 200. Um, uh, I think uh, it would be good if I, I, if I try to place it on the outer side, not on the inner side, okay. So, this is where, okay, we would like to place it, okay, that is accessible, this is accessible. So, from here as well as from there, okay, beside, behind this, okay, you can easily place the weld, okay. The height of the weld is 200 plus 110, that is length is 210 plus 210, you get 420. So, that is the first part, that is a uh, connection between uh, the gazette plate and the column flange. Now, we go to the next one, okay, gazette plate with the base plate, gazette plate with the base plate. Now, the thing is you need to understand, okay, how do I place the uh, weld in this particular case? So, please understand that is in each case it will be equal to the outer edge of the gazette plate. So, that means, okay, so we have two gazette plates kept parallel to the web, okay. So, you have to just try to weld right over the length, okay, of the, uh, I mean, uh, uh, base plate, okay, we just try to provide and also we just try to come inside, okay, inner edge of the gazette plate from the end of the base plate to the column flange. I hope you can clearly understand that in the figure, correct. So, please look at this. Okay, that is a gazette plate. So, you are just trying to weld it on the outer side, outer side, correct. So, what is the total length? 500. So, we have got 500 here and we can also do it on the in, inside. Okay, when I say inside, it is from the edge to the flange, okay, from the edge to the flange, correct. So, how do I get this length? It is quite simple. So, from 500 deduct 350, 350 is the column depth that we have here. So, that would be 150 divided by 2. So, that will be 75 plus 75, correct. So, what is the total length that is available? It is nothing but 500 plus 75 plus 75, that would be 650 millimeters, correct, 650 millimeters. That is what we are trying to tell you here, okay. So, along the outer edge of the gazette plate, which is equal to the length of the base plate, okay. And then in the inner edge, okay, in the inner edge, it starts from the edge of the base plate to the column flange. So, that is 75 plus 75. 
Okay, now with this information, we are trying to say what is the total length available. Okay, so 500 minus 500 minus 350 that would be 650 millimeters. So we've got 650 millimeters. Correct. Now you have to choose the appropriate weld size. Okay, now I'm just trying to say let us try 6 millimeters. Let us try 6 millimeters because my length is only confined. So I can just try to play around with this weld size. Okay, if 6 mm is not sufficient, you can go to 8 mm or you can try 5 mm like that. Okay, so I'm just trying to take 6 mm and then just try to find out, okay, with this length, okay, right, okay, for this particular size and this length, okay, can it take a load of 425 or if I try to take 425 and put this, what is the length of the weld required? I can do in any way, correct. So again, I am just trying to use the same class here or to calculate the uh, uh, strength, okay, TWD, that is the design strength of the weld. Now I am just trying to equate this TWD to 425, okay, and I am trying to check, okay, what length is required, what length is required. So I am just trying to substitute this TWD, okay, with 425. Okay, this is throat thickness, okay, 0.7 times 6, I am assuming 6 mm weld, okay, and this Fu, right, is taken as uh, uh, 14 megapascals and gamma MW, okay, 1.25. So simplify, you get this value of LW, the value of LW is 534.35, so that means the weld length required is 534.35 millimeters. But we already seen that the length available is 650. What we want is 534, so that's fine. Okay, so the length required, okay, length required. Am I made clear, right? Okay, okay, is 535 available is 650, right? So it's perfectly, it is fine. Okay, it is perfectly is fine. Okay, available is more than required. Correct. So this is how you can try to design this. And finally, the last part that we are trying to talk about in this problem is the anchor bolts. Okay, in this particular case, again, the base is subject to only axial load, no bending moment. Okay, so there will be the base is not subject to tension. So provide nominal diameters 20 mm bolts, okay, four numbers, okay, 600 mm length, one in each corner to keep the base plate in position. And this is how it looks in plan. Okay, I'm just trying to place four bolts in this particular case. So this is how you can just try to uh, 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 talk about designing a welded gazetted base plate. Okay, try and trying to keep the gazette plate okay parallel to the web. I hope you have understood this particular uh, discussion uh, uh, clearly. Now let us try to go to uh, uh, the next uh, problem. In the next problem, the orientation of the gusset plate will not be parallel to the web, it will be parallel to the flanges, just like what we had in case of uh, bolted connection. So let us try to look at this particular problem. Okay, verbatim, it is almost the same, but the only thing is the last statement that we are trying to say here is, okay, the uh, gusset plates are parallel to the flanges, correct? So again, so the, a, a column section is given, it is trying to take a load of uh, 1700 kN factored. Okay, the grid of concrete is M20, okay, and we are trying to do design a suitable welded, uh, uh, I mean, gazette, as a gazette base in this particular case, okay, and now we are trying to say that the gazette plates are kept parallel to the flanges, parallel to the flanges, correct? So this is the data that has been given in the problem. So let us try to look at this problem and see how we are trying to look at, uh, try to solve this particular problem. So as usual, okay, the factor load, again, here we are trying to take the same thing as 1700. So these are steps, okay, that are uh, again uh, repeated, okay, even in this particular problem, okay, that is the grid of steel for FE, FE 410 grid of steel, we got FU, we got FY, and again the partial set factors, gamma M0, gamma MW picked up from table 5 of IS800, and this is the uh, bearing strength of the concrete. Okay, so 0.45 CK taken from IS 456 2000 class 34.4. Okay, the, the, the strength is 9 megapascals. Okay, is the bearing strength of the concrete. It should not exceed. The pressure should not exceed this particular value. And uh, for this particular section, you can pick up these numbers, okay, from the steel table. Okay, that is the depth of the section, the width of the flange, the thickness of the flange, and the thickness of the web, all these things are available in the steel table. 
Okay, now let's start. Okay, size of uh, the gusset plate and size of base plate. Okay, so what should be the size of the base plate that you have to provide, and what should be the size of the gusset plate? So let's start with uh, the uh, thickness of the uh, uh, gusset uh, plate. Thickness of the gusset plate. Correct. So as as we have said that the th the thickness of flange is 11.6. Correct, and hence the thickness of the uh, gusset should be more than thickness of flange. So let's try to assume. Okay, a thickness of 12 mm in this particular case. Let us try to assume a thickness of 12 millimeters in this particular case, which is more than 11.6, that is fine. So, with this information, the next part that I am trying to talk about is okay, how do I fix up the length okay, of the gazette of the uh, I mean uh, uh, base plate. Okay. So, I will just try to go to the next uh, picture so that you will be very uh, you will understand what I am just trying to talk about. So, right now, okay, this is 350, so that is 350. And then I am just trying to keep one plate here and one plate here, correct. This, the thickness of the plate is 12 mm. So, 12 mm, 12 mm plus 350, that would be 374. So, obviously, my length of the plate, base plate should be more than 374 is what we are trying to say here. So, look at this, okay, that is 350 is the depth of the column, that is section of the column, okay, and two uh, uh, gazette plates of thickness 12 mm kept on either side of the flange. Okay, so, that is 374. However, I am just trying to take the length of the plate to be 450 mm, slightly larger than what is required. Okay, so, my total length I am just trying to take is 450 millimeters. Okay, with that, okay, the projections here will be 50 and 50. Okay, notice that 350 plus 50 plus 50, that will be 450. Correct. So, anyway, this is nothing but the uh, width of the flange, okay, width of the flange. But this is the breadth I have not calculated. I have not calculated the breadth. I will just try to come and calculate. The next part would be to calculate the breadth, okay, of this particular, uh, uh, I mean, a base plate, okay, is what I am just trying to calculate, right, okay. So, right now, I, I know the factored load. I have assumed the uh, uh, length as uh, 450 millimeters. Now, I am just trying to calculate the required area. Correct. What is the required area? That is nothing but the total load. Okay, by the bearing pressure that is nine. So that gives you the required area. You already know the length. Okay, you know already know the length. So with this information, you can calculate what is the required uh, width of the plate. Okay, so required width of the plate would be nothing but okay this area, required area by the length four one nine. I'm just trying to take it as four twenty millimeters. So with this, the size of the base plate that we are trying to talk about is 450 by 420 millimeters, correct. So, this is how I have arrived at the size of the base plate. I have not arrived at the thickness. Thickness will just try to calculate from bending moment criteria, okay, bending moment criteria, correct. Now, the next one is the size of the plate, right, okay. So, this is how we have done it. So, I have just tried to arrive at this value. With this value, I think we know what these projections are, 85, 85. So, deduct 250 from 420 and then divided by 2 that will give you these projections. So, with this okay, we have fixed freezed the size of the uh, size of the plates. Now, coming to the gazette plate, okay, we already have uh, uh, assumed this 12 mm correct in this particular case. Now, with respect to the height, let me assume that the height as 150 mm right at the midpoint that is near the column flanges and let us assume that they gradually decrease. Okay, the height reduces from 150 to 100 at the edge. Now, coming to the length of the uh, gazette plate, the length of the gazette plate will be 250 mm which is equal to the flange width near the mid portion and then increases okay, to the width of the base plate. Okay. So, that will be equal to the width of the base plate which is nothing but 420 mm. So, that means height 150 to 100 okay reduces width okay it increases from 250 to 420 and you can clearly see that particular information correct so the height here is 150 correct so from 150 it reduces to 100 correct from 150 to reduce to 100 the width increases from 250 to 420 okay so this is how the gazette plate okay looks in this particular discussion correct now we again trying to check the uh, I mean uh, buckling okay, of the uh, I mean, uh, gazette plates correct and again we are trying to check at two edges okay, first edge here and the second edge here. So, at these two edges we are trying to check 
okay, the, the buckling of the gusset plate. Now coming to the first one, portion in the column flange. So portion in the column flange is this. So this is the portion in the column flange, okay, and you need to understand that, uh, you need to understand here, correct. So we are trying to weld, okay, in this particular region, correct. So the gusset plate will be welded to the flange in this particular portion. When you are trying to weld the, the gusset plate to the column flange, please understand, okay, you do not need to check buckling because it is in contact, okay. Buckling happens, okay, along the edge if it is uh, not supported, but here it is completely supported. You do not need to re really check with respect to the buckling in that particular portion. So, we are trying to say that, okay, the uh, in this particular portion, correct, right. So, it is, it is welded in this particular portion. So, you do not need to do not need to check okay, the buckling in that particular portion. So, we are through with this uh, edge. Now, the next thing is we need to check okay, the buckling in, the, in that particular portion, that slant edge. So, the first thing that we need to understand here is the outstanding portion here is 85 here okay, and this portion is uh, 50. So, you can easily calculate the hypotenuse here okay, that is root of 85 square plus 50 square that will give the length of this slant edge and that is what we are trying to do in the next slide. Okay? So, the first thing that we are trying to talk about is okay, this one 85, okay? we are trying to talk about 85. Okay? How do we get this 85? Total width is 420, you deduct 250 divided by 2, you get that. Okay? That is the outstanding length in the horizontal direction. Okay? Now, this difference is 50 as you are trying to understand because the plate has reduced its height from 150 to 100. Okay? So, now we have got this value. So, that is 85, already done that. Okay? So this is square root of 85 square plus 50 square. Okay? So, that leaves you 95.62 millimeters. So, what is 95.62 millimeters? This length. This length is 95.62 millimeters. And now, the thickness of that particular plate is 12. So, now I hope you remember we take the ratio of S naught by uh, Tg, correct. So, right now the ratio of S naught by Tg happens to be 7.97. So, again with this information we need to check, okay. So, this satisfies, okay, which criteria, whether it satisfies plastic section criteria or compact section criteria or semi compact section criteria or, or will it uh, go to slender sections. Correct. Now, we go to table 2 okay, of IS 800 and then get this value of epsilon. Okay. Since FY is 250, epsilon value is 1 and for plastic sections, okay, plastic sections, okay, this has 8.4 times epsilon okay, is what we have here. Okay. So, that would be 8.4. Now, we try to make a comparison of 7.97 correct 7.97 is 8.4. So, it is less. So, obviously, the whatever is plate section or okay, gusset plate section that we have provided is of plastic section okay, and is adequate is what you need to understand. So, when you are trying to check this, please understand that these criteria are different for welded connections and bolted connections. Okay? You have to look at that properly and then understand this particular information. Okay? Now, coming to the next part, okay, that would be to find the thickness of the plate, thickness of the plate that is base plate. Correct. So, we try to calculate the pressure and then the critical section and then the bending moment oh, and then we try to use that uh, equation given in IS 800 to calculate the thickness. First part, okay, so that is uh, the dimensions of the plate are fixed 450 by and 200 with this you calculate the uh, uh, pressure okay, that we have on the plate. Okay. So, bearing pressure on concrete or on the plate, okay. obviously their action reaction. So, we just try to calculate this as 8.99. Okay, almost 9. You can just try to take it as 9 mega pascals. Now, with this, okay, we try to calculate what is the critical section xx okay, that we have okay, in this particular case. Okay, where is the critical section? Now, this critical section is at the flange column. right? So, again, we just try to look at this. So, this is where the critical section is. Critical section, correct? Right here. That is the critical section, correct? Is it all right? So, where is the critical section? Right beneath the gusset plate. Okay, am I made clear? So, you can just try to say that okay, at the face of the uh, column flange, okay, the critical section exists. So, with that information, we need to understand. So, what is this length? What is this length? So, total is 450. This is 350. You deduct 350 from 450 divided by 2. You get the cantilever portion. 
you get the cantilever length. I make clear. So, this part okay, will try to come up because of the pressure, okay, cantilever plate, correct. Now, you need to understand that this is that is uh, 50 millimeters is what we have got. So, with this information, okay, we now try to calculate the value of uh, the, the bending moment, correct. So, the bending moment is what? WL square by 2. 8.99 into 50 square by 2 and you get the value of bending moment at the critical section as 11,250 Newton millimeters. Now, the next question is to resist this particular bending moment, what should be the thickness of the base plate is what we are trying to arrive at. Okay. So, we just try to look at this particular class, okay, 8212 is 800. Okay. So, this is the expression that has been given, okay, the right hand side F y Z e and gamma m naught. So, we are trying to uh, assume these values and again we are trying to calculate the elastic section modulus. Okay, we are trying to use the expression B d square by 6. So, B is 1 millimeter width. Okay, so, with this information you just try to express what is M d B in terms of T square. So, the value of M d B in terms of T square is 45.45 T square. Now, substitute the value of M d B as that bending moment okay, that we had calculated the critical section. So, with this information calculate the thickness okay 15.73 and now you are trying to say it is 60 millimeters. So, with this we have arrived at all the dimensions okay of the base plate and now we are trying to even check the 16 millimeters with respect to the thickness of flange which is 11.7 mm. So, this is more than that. So, I can just try to take this value and with this okay we have arrived at the dimension of the base plate which is nothing but uh, 450 by 400 by 16 millimeters. Now, comes the last part that is regarding the connection, okay, welded connection, right, is what we are trying to talk about, okay. Now, design of welded connection, is it all right, is what we are trying to talk about. Now, again, when it is trying to talk about this design of welded connection, so again, we are trying to say that the uh, end of the column, uh, 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 the, the, the end of the column the end of the gazette, uh, gazette plate and the top of the base plate are all machined perfectly. Okay, they are all machined perfectly, correct. So, all these things are machined perfectly. That being the case, 50 percent of the load is uh, uh, I mean transferred through bearing and the remaining 50 percent of the load, correct, is transferred by the welt connection is what we are trying to tell, okay, remaining part 50. So, again let us try to have a look at it. Okay, so, that means of the total load 7, 1700 by 2, okay, only 850 kilometer we have to uh, take for design of welded connection. However, there are two gusset plates, correct. So, each gusset plate, okay, we are we're going to weld. So, only half of this, okay, is what we are going to consider for each gusset plate. For each gusset plate, we try to take only 425 kN. Now, we are going to talk about two connections here. Okay. So, connection 1, the first connection is between what? The gazette plate, correct, and the flange of the column. Gazette plate and the flange of the column, correct, is what we are trying to talk about. Now, I think my next slide, okay, will give you a good information about how we are trying to place the weld. So, we are trying to just connect, okay, we are just trying to weld, okay, the, the top of the gazette plate with the flange, okay, that would be a horizontal welding. And what you are trying to see this red line? okay is within it is is inside i make clear is on the other side because we have got the gazette plate here gazette plate here so that means on the rear side or inside of this particular gazette plate all along the length of this particular flange you are trying to weld so now you need to notice that what is the total weld length available so total weld length available is the width of the flange plus height of the gazette plate so what is the width of the flange it is 250, correct. What is the height of this 50 plus 150 that is 250. What is the height of this that is again 150. So, total length available 150 plus 150 that is 300 plus 250 that would be 550 millimeters. So, that is what I have written here. So, we just try to check here the weld connection in each gusset plate with the column flange will be along the width of the column flange that is top we said 250, correct. And and along the length of the column, okay, length of the column, okay, which is equal to the height of the gazette, which is 150 mm at the two edges of the flange, okay, two edges of flange. So, this is what we have got two edges of the flange for a height which is equal to the height of the gazette plate 150 plus the width of the flange 
which is 250 and now with this information you can easily calculate okay the total uh, uh, i mean uh, well length available 250 plus 2 into 50 that is 550 millimeters correct so that is the well length available that we are trying to have here and now we are trying to use 6 millimeters well size i'm just trying to use a 6 millimeter well size and then i'm going to check Okay, if I am using 6 millimeter weld size to resist this force of 425, what should be the uh, total uh, uh, length of the weld I need to provide, correct? And is it less than this available? We are going to make a check, okay, in that particular direction, okay? So, again, I am trying to use that expression 105711 IS 800 2007, okay, we are, we are trying to calculate the strength of the weld, okay? So, that is LWTEFU by root 3 into gamma mw. So, the information that we are trying to talk about is, okay, I am trying to uh, assume this as 425 to the power of 3, okay, the, uh, the, the total value of uh, load that the weld has to resist and then uh, throat thickness, I had assumed 6 mm weld, okay, so 0 0.7 times 6, that is 4.2 and then for Fu, okay, it is 410 and then gamma mw it is 1.25 and then I just try to calculate LW, the value of LW right now is 534.35 that means required weld length right now is 534.35, okay. We just try to recollect the available is 550, yeah definitely more than this, correct. So, we are trying to say that, okay, weld length available is more than required that means 550 more than this, okay, right, that is fine, okay. Right. So, this is how you can check, right, with respect to if, if this is not sufficient. So, probably either you can uh, increase the height of the uh, uh, gazette plate or you can increase the size of the uh, weld. I make clear. So, you can just try to do one of the things over there. Now, coming to the second connection that we are trying to talk about, the second connection is between the gazette plate, okay, and the base plate, okay. The first was between the gazette plate and the flange. The second one is between the gazette plate and the base plate. So, before I read the statement, so let us try to look at this. Where are we placing the uh, 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 well, okay? So, we just try to look at the uh, I mean, uh, uh, I mean, uh, gazette plate. So, the first one is we are just trying to take, okay, the uh, uh, length of the weld on the outer side of the gazette, outer side of the gazette and then on the inside only from the edge towards the flange, correct? So, that means on the outer side, we just try to take over the entire width. What is the entire width? 420, correct? On the inside, okay, we just try to start from the edge and go only up to the flange, only up to the flange, okay? This and this plus this. So, that is the total length available, okay, for the weld, correct? So, that sums up as 420 plus this plus this. How do I calculate this distance? So, I just deduct from 420, okay, 250. Okay, so the remaining distance will be divided by 2 that will be 75 here and 75 here. So, that means total weld length available is 420 plus 75 plus 75 that would be 150 plus 420 that will be 570 millimeters. So, let me just try to go back here and then try to tell you, okay. So, the total weld length that we are trying to have here would be along the outer edge of the gazette plate which is equal to width of the plate which is something about 420 millimeters. Okay, and along the inner edge, okay, right of the gazette plate, it starts from the edge of the base plate and goes up to the flange, which would be 75, okay, on, on one side and 75 mm on the other side. So, with this information, correct, so the total length available, so that would be 420, okay, plus 150, that would be 570 mm. Now, again, we try to choose the size of the uh, weld. Let us try to say 6 millimeters and then use that formula that we are trying to have here in 105711 IS 800 to calculate the design weld strength, okay. That is TWD equal to LW into TE by into FU by root 3 gamma MW, correct. So, again as usual TWD 425 to the power of 3 and then the throat thickness 0 0.7 times 6 that is 4.2, then FU, right, 410 and then gamma MW partial Z factor 1.25, calculate LW and that happens to be 434. So, that means the required weld length, okay, that we now have, uh, that we now should have is 534.35. Now, we try to compare with the length available, right. So, length available is 570 more than this, yeah, that is fine, correct. 
So again, as I did tell you that in case this is uh, uh, less than this, that means the weld length available is less than the weld length required. Probably you can increase the thickness of the weld, size of the weld. Okay, so of six you can take eight, and then you can try to do this calculation. Okay. Now coming to the last part of the discussion that we are trying to talk about, so anchor bolts. Right. Again, as usual, it is subject to only axial compression, no bending moment. Okay, and hence the base plate not subject to tension. Okay, so we provide okay four anchor bolts, nominal diameter say 20 mm. Okay, and length 600. Okay, we just try to keep four, one in each corner to keep the base plate in position. Correct. So that's how we are trying to place these bolts. Okay, so one at each corner. Okay, these are nominal just to hold down the base plate in position. Okay, so I hope. Uh, this is how you try to do these kind of uh, problems, right? I hope uh, you have enjoyed learning, okay, this particular uh, discussion on uh, uh, design of uh, base plates. So, we have just talked about some introductory concepts, okay, about uh, design of base plates and two types of base plates that is slab base and uh, gusseted uh, uh, base. So, we have worked examples, okay, both with respect to uh, slab base as well as uh, uh, I mean, uh, uh, bolt, uh, gazetted base that is bolted connection as well as gazet, I mean, uh, welded connection. I hope you have uh, really, uh, uh, I, mean, uh, 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 I mean, gained some good information, okay, with respect to these presentations. So, with this, I conclude the presentation with respect to uh, the uh, design of uh, uh, base plates. So, I think we have done uh, three sessions. I hope it was very informative. Thank you for. Uh, 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 listening to this particular presentation.